Good evening. Hello, good evening, Manuel. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening, Wendy. Hello, good evening. I know, I can get someone. Hello. Hi, good evening. Can you hear me, Wendy? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> I think you're having problems with the internet, right? Are you having problems with in the internet? Moment, uh, mess in call or messenger. Oh, you're making a call through in messenger? Yes, yeah, in this moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's... Yeah. But, that's why... but listen, listen to you well. Okay, because we, we can't hear you very well. No, no, it's it's cutting. It's sorry. At least I can't. I don't know if the rest you of you. See? Good evening, okay. everybody. You see, I go Good evening. Okay, now we can hear you. Okay, now we can hear you fine, okay. Wendy. Yeah. Okay. Hello, okay. Susana. <laughs> Hello, Susana. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Hello. How are you? Hi. I'm fine. <laughs> yeah? I'm sad. I'm sad, teacher. Really? Why? Uh, it's a... Uh, uh, I was... I was... Uh, to review... Uh, uh, the... The um, report... Uh, and I, 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 really, 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 <laughs> it's a sorry, exhausting. Oh, you're exhausted or sad? Yeah, too. <laughs> oh. Sad is cansada, verdad? No, sad is, is, is uh, triste. Ah, ah, bueno, también. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Porque también. Uh, I do. Uh, uh, I, I don't know. Hey, it's a it's a, a moon teacher. Okay. It's a moon. It's a moon. It's a, it, it's a mood. It's okay. A moon. Okay. 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 All right. Um, well, I hope you're not, you're not, um, it's sad for very long. I hope so. I hope you're feeling uh, better. Excuse me, I don't understand, teacher. I, I hope you're not sad for a very long time. Ah, okay. Oh, oh. Okay. Hey, but uh, when, when I go to the bell, I... Mm -hmm. I don't remember the today. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. Uh, I I I can I good I good I good like to to better tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow will be better. Tomorrow be better. Will be better, yeah. Yeah, hopefully. We I hope tomorrow is better for you. Yeah, I know. Sometimes we have one of those days. It happens. It happens. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hello, Manuel. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine. Good. Good. Yes. Um, uh, How? Mm -hmm. uh, with a, a little tired you're a little because, tired uh, yes because uh, this day i i went 
I went uh, to the to other other department, right? I I I draw draw for uh, four hours. Yes. So, sorry, I didn't understand. I was, you went was, to another uh, driving. For, you were you were driving. Yes, four hours. Oh, okay. So you're tired. Yes, a little tired. <laughs> um, I see. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I hope you feel better. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I know it's, 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 it, I need it some is, rest. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I know you need some rest, but, uh, thank but other ways. For... <laughs> like thank that. You, thank you for connecting. Yeah. Okay. Good, good, good. I'm glad you you connected even though that you are tired. Yeah. Okay, good. And hello, Diana. Diana, are you there? Diana, are you there? No, Diana's not there? Hmm. Okay. And um, hello, Carolina, Norma Carolina. Thank you for connecting. Um, uh, just if, if you can um, just do me the favor of connecting the camera at least when um, for the for the attendance, I would really appreciate that. Okay, and I hope everything's okay. Okay, all right, guys. Well, um, thank you for connecting on time, even though I know that it's difficult sometimes to. Uh, be here at, um, uh, on time and you know it, sometimes it's you're tired and everything but I really do appreciate the fact that um, that you're that you are connected um, okay all right guys so um, I'm going to start by well, okay, well, we'll take attendance a little bit later. But um, before we, uh, to be able to start, I want to know if you guys understand the, let's see, just a second. The verbs that we have here. Um, do you remember that these were the verbs that I showed you before? Yes, teacher. Okay, so I shared this, this document with you. And I just want to make sure that we understand the verbs. So we have enjoy, fancy, discuss, dislike, finish, mind, suggest, recommend, keep, avoid, Miss, appreciate, delay. Post. Actually, let's let's break it down here. I think uh, we'll leave it there up to there at this moment. Up to delay. Do you have any questions about this? The vocabulary, these verbs here. Teacher, uh, mm -hmm. according to the rules for this mm -hmm. uh, verb. Mm -hmm. uh, they they make follow follow by other verb in gerund the, all of the the verbs right here in this list that i'm showing you right now these always these verbs always use a, a gerund after Okay, so enjoy plus a gerund. 
Dancing plus a gerund. Disgust plus gerund. Dislike plus a gerund. Uh, finish plus a gerund. Mind plus a gerund. Suggest plus a gerund. Recommend plus a gerund. Keep plus a gerund. Yeah. Avoid plus a gerund. Miss plus a gerund. Appreciate plus a gerund. Delete plus a gerund. Delay plus a gerund. It may be. Mm -hmm. uh, might be followed by by Jaron. It's imperative. No. No. Mm, sorry. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, the the verb the main verb mm -hmm. is enjoy. Right. Yes. The example is I enjoy living in France. Mm -hmm. the, the verb we are using. Is in is in Jerome, ing with ing. Right. Mm -hmm. Correct. Uh, this is a, a this is a rule. Uh, then I, I, there are more more birth. Uh, After this list, there are more, yes, but but this that's why it says here. Um, I think it's verbs. up to it's up to the the complement when uh, that I I used and I I use using the these verbs. Right. What uh, do you mean by the complement? Uh, yes, because, uh, for example, uh, dislike, right? Mm -hmm. Dislike is a bear. Uh, and the example is I dislike waiting for buses, right? And my question is uh, when I use this verb, it's imperative uh, to to use the the gerund the, the gerund in the in the next verb. Um, if we're going to be talking about an activity, yes. So I enjoy yeah, because uh, because he he is uh, using uh, waiting. It's a verb. Uh, he, okay. He, yes, but in this it case, comes to 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 noun. It, exactly. In this case, it's a noun. Why? Because all of these are activities. Okay, so if you're talking about an activity, you're going to be using a gerund. It's different if you're using a noun, for example, it, like any other noun. Like, I enjoyed the film. Okay, I could say here, I enjoyed the film, and it'd be okay. Right, so I could say, I enjoyed, or I could just simply say, okay. Um, like here, I Leave. enjoyed France, period. That'd be okay. Because I'm not using okay, an activity. Yes. I'm not using an activity. But mm. what about France? I enjoyed living in France. I could also, mm. but now uh, I want to okay, change yes. it. So it's not a living. I want to talk about this to visit, right? So the activity of it. So we say I enjoyed visiting France. Okay. Um, I enjoyed a um, uh, sight um, sight scene in France. Okay. So when we have an activity, we're going to have to use it in the gerund form. Okay. If we don't use an activity, then we would we would just use the noun, any noun. Does that make sense? Activity. Yes, these are activities. That's why they're nouns, because an activity is a noun. Okay? Okay. 
Yeah, does that make sense? After the verb is an activity. Activity. Yes, after the verb, but why we would have you it in ing. Because the ing makes a verb into a gerund. Okay. And a gerunds are nouns, not verbs. They are nouns. So it's different, like, it's different than in Spanish. In Spanish, los gerundios are verbs. In English, the gerunds are not verbs. They are nouns. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. Does that help you a little bit? Does that make a little bit more sense? Yes, yes, uh, yes yesterday I didn't. Can, I didn't get the, the class. Oh, okay, okay, no problem. Yes, I already received in the WhatsApp group mm -hmm. this, the, the, uh, the, the this list. list. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good, excellent, excellent. Okay, so any other questions, guys? And thank you very much, Manuel, for asking these questions because that's what it's about. It's about asking questions so I can help you. If I don't know that you have a question, I can't help you. So thank you for, for asking the questions. Anyway. All right, any other questions about these verbs in, in specific? No? So they're all clear, these verbs here. So after these verbs, we're going to put a gerund. If we're talking about a, an activity, after the verbs, not before, it would be after. Okay. All right, let's, um, let's continue. All right, so we understand apparently all of these verbs. Let's go on to the next. Um, the next section, which is practice, consider, can't stand, can't help, risk, admit, deny, mention, imagine, tolerate, understand, involve, and complete. Do you have questions about the meaning of those verbs? You can ask. No, so far so good. Okay, um, just a tip. This right here is pronounced deny, not deny, deny, deny. This one right here. Okay. Anything else? Okay, so far so good, guys. So far so good. So far so good, okay. All right. Okay, good. You can stop me at any moment, guys. And the last part is report, anticipate, and recall. Recall, what does it mean to recall? Does that mean to call again? Recall? Is that the mean of recall, to call again? Yes? No, teacher. Yes. What is the, the meaning, recall? It's similar to remember. Yes, exactly. Remember, recall, remember the same idea. Okay. So is that clear, guys? So far, so good? 
Yeah. Okay. Now these ones are verbs that we use um, it, so after those verbs, we don't use a gerund, we use a to infinitive. Also, just like gerunds, the two infinitives are not verbs. They are uh, they are nouns. Okay? So we treat them as nouns, not verbs. Okay? So we have agree, ask, decide, help, plan, hope, learn, want, would like. Any questions about those verbs? No, teacher. Y, teacher, ¿y o... These are two infinitives. Ah, okay. So it means the we use the word to and then the verb without change in the original form. Okay. But to Is give it them, there? In pass. No. no. Is a fear a fierce bear is in pass. No, it can be in any form. So to get so we have to give, to leave, to go, to no, clean, but it's a fierce she agreed, is yeah. in pass. Is that it is in pass? Uh-huh. Right. Decided mm -hmm. is in the path. Help is in the mm -hmm. past. Plans is simple present, hope is simple present, ah, okay. our learning is present progressive, and so on. A, a no like, necessary is, like is model. Ah, no, okay, the, okay. The, the verb can be in any form, any form. Um, simple present, simple past, a, a future, a, a simple future present progressive, past progressive, future progressive, any form, any form at all. Present, uh, a present perfect, past perfect, future perfect, any form at all, doesn't matter. En What's... el teacher, para entenderla en español diríamos, ella está de acuerdo en enviar la presentación para la reunión, algo así. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. But in remember, once again, these are not rules that apply in Spanish. So, yes, the meaning you have it correct, but they have nothing to do with the rules in Spanish. Okay, so these are just rules that have to do with English. So in English, after these verbs, we can, when we're talking about an activity, we're gonna use the we're gonna use a noun in the to infinitive form. Okay, does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. Are you sure, guys? This makes sense. Any questions you want to ask me before we continue? Okay. All right. Um, we're gonna look at the other verbs. Okay, so we have here, promise, can afford, manage, prepare, demand, choose, offer, wait, would, hate, would, love. Do we understand that? Any questions about those? What is the meaning? Can afford teacher? Can afford. Mm -hmm. Okay, so can afford uh, or can't afford means that you have, when you have afford means to have enough time or energy or money to do something okay so 
I can't afford to go on holiday means I don't have enough money to go on holiday. Okay. Or oh, okay. I can't afford to lose more time. So it means I, I don't have the time. I don't have the energy. I don't have the opportunity oh. to lose more time. Okay. Okay. okay? Yeah. It's too valuable. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Thank you for asking. Anything else? Any other questions that you guys have? No. Okay, so those are clear. Okay, let's go on to the next one, the last the last verbs that are not that many here. We have seen, expect, intend, pretend, refuse. Tend, would prefer, deserve, appear, arrange, and claim. Do we have any questions about those? Are you sure you have no questions? You can ask anything. Teacher, in this type uh, of verbs, uh, it's, a, 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 it's a normal, we can say it's a, it's a normal uh, uh, for me, right? Uh, all mm -hmm. this time, I, I try to, <laughs> to create sentence. Uh, using uh, the the verbs that I know, but mm -hmm. when the rules of this verb or the other verb, like uh, uh, I, uh, I, the question is, uh, is this is a for me this is a, a normal a normal uh, sentence and. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, deserve. Mm -hmm. uh, he deserves to go to jail. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. For for me, right? Uh, mm -hmm. The question is, what is the the rule for for these verbs, or or? There are uh, there are uh, common most common verbs. The rule is simply learn the list. That's the only rule. Learn oh, the, learn oh, the okay. list. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, it's so, just a list. It's just a list. Uh, so unfortunately, oh. there is no okay other. Thing, other rule that I can tell you these verbs. Yes, because if you can, uh -huh. because the all of all of the all of them this uh, sentence they they are uh, common sense, right? Mm -hmm. That's why I I I think is there are or there are in rules <laughs> because for me it's normally this is a they they are. Uh, normal sentence we right um okay so i think what you're trying to say is that um it makes sense for you to use certain verbs with certain infinite with with the infinitives or the gerunds and i think that's because it's not it's simply because that's the way you've heard it before and yes. so it, you're just repeating what you have heard which is great that's that's a great way because that means that um you're paying attention to the language so sometimes your intuition 
will give you good a good insight on what you're going to be using if a jared or an infinitive so yeah um go ahead and, and say what sounds better right and it's what when it's when you say what sounds better is because you've heard it before and you're trying to remember which one you have heard before if it's an infinitive or a jared right so yes yeah go ahead and, and use that intuition um is is probably going to be Yes, because the mm -hmm. I I think the main bear uh, may may be in in different uh, time, right? Yeah, exactly, absolutely. The verb, the 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 main but verb could be in any the, form. The complement is using two infinity, right? Two infinity. Yeah, the noun. Is going to be in the to infinitive. Yes, because so, mm -hmm. uh, in the in the verb sim, mm -hmm. uh, the the sentence is Nancy seems to be disappointed. Mm -hmm. uh, the the main bear is sim. Mm -hmm. Sim. And yeah. The, 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 the complement. Right. To be. Yeah, exactly. In fact, there's only one verb. Yes. There's th this only is one the, verb. This is the only verb that exists in the sentence, seemed. That's the seemed, only verb. Yes. Because oh, to okay. be to be is not a verb, it's a noun. It's a noun. Yeah. And disappointing is an adjective. An adjective. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. So it's it's really not two verbs together. It's a verb and a noun. Mm -hmm. Okay. So oh, this is a okay. verb and this is a noun. Simple as that. Okay. All right. Teacher, and, yeah. uh, we we can't say they expecting uh, they uh, they expect arriving early. They they are expecting arriving. Uh, they are. They are expecting them. Mm -mm. They are expecting. They are expected to arrive arri to arriving. They're expecting to arrive, it's fine. To but arrive. They are expecting arriving? No, never. You can't they, you they can't. are uh, what what will be using uh ing arrive. They are arriving. I'm not sure. I'm not sure of your question. Can you repeat the question? Uh, yes. Uh, can I say they are arriving? They are arriving, yes. Okay, because but you see, expect. We can't. Okay, so uh, let me write this down so it's clear. Um. Expecting, uh, can I, can I, okay, so they are expect. expecting arriving, no, arriving, arrive, expecting arrive, arrive early, you're saying like this, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, so um so Not here <laughs> here um ex are expecting is the verb, right? Yes. Okay, so here's the, the main verb. Okay. And here is another verb. 
Mm -hmm. We can't put two verbs together. Okay. So the only way we can make this work is by changing this into a noun. We can't put two verbs together. So we have to change this into a noun. How do we change that into a noun? Well, in English, to change something into a noun, we we use the the we use the to infinitive or a gerund because the verb is expect we have to use the to and so in order to make the sentence correct in this, then we're going to say for teacher to write it's, it's okay can i use they are expecting to arrive early yeah that's okay uh, okay Okay. okay. All right. So is, does that answer your question okay? No problem? Okay. Any questions? Any questions at all? Anything else? Ask right now, guys, because this is your opportunity. Okay. And the last, yeah, so that's it to claim. Okay. Now, if you notice some verbs here, we have uh, an asterisk, right? Okay. So with these ones, what they mean is that we can use an object before. So with words like would prefer, okay, verbs like would prefer, expect, would love, would hate, prepare, would like, want, and um, help and ask. With those verbs, we can use a, 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 um, an object, a pronoun. Okay, Obviously. so yeah, so we have you, for example, um, or here, like, like here, I asked him to leave, notice him. Okay, so we have a pronoun there or an object, okay? Or this one right here, he helped who? His flatmate. So here's, there's an object, right? Or this one, I want him to come to the party. I would like you, okay? Or uh, they prepare to take the test. Um, or the teachers prepared the students. Here's the pronoun, the, the object here, okay? Or I'd hate you to be late. I love him to come. They expected Julie to arrive. And um, the last one, I prefer him to do it, okay? Okay. And also notice this part. Notice that um, help can also be followed by the infinitive without to, with no difference in meaning. Okay. So, for example, I can say if I want, I helped to carry it, or I helped carry it. This is this is an exception to the rule. So here, even though a, the main, the verb is helped. Carry is going to be a noun even if it doesn't have a to. Okay. So far so good, guys. Does this make sense? So far so good. Okay. All right, guys. So let's. Just analyzing a little bit of that um, so you guys um, don't get confused with the exercises we're going to be doing today. And I haven't actually taken attendance yet, so let me do that. I didn't take it before because there were not too many of you. So I see that there are more people, so it's perfect now. Let's take the attendance. Um, okay, here we go. Um, 
Christian, Natalie. Christian, no? Okay. Uh, Delbert. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Thank you, Diana Elizabeth. Present teacher. Very good. Thank you. Um, um, Jennifer Elizabeth. Yeah. Okay. Would you do me a favor, Jennifer? Um, can you change your name so it's like your full name? Yeah, I don't know why it asked me to register again. Oh, yeah, no. sometimes it doesn't uh, save it. So if you could just no, it, it 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 save it, but today uh, asked me to register again to the mm. to the meeting. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, and the same mm -hmm. the same meeting ID and 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 everything, but I don't know. Uh, oh, okay. Interesting scenario. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Um, Jorge Humberto. Jorge Humberto. Okay. Um, Mario Antonio. Mario Antonio. Oh, sorry, 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 my mistake, Manuel Antonio, I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> okay great, Maria Elena, Maria Elena, Mario Ernesto, Mario Ernesto, Mario José. Present teacher. Okay. Um, are you, are you able to turn on your camera, Mario? Yes, teacher, but um, actually I'm outside home uh, and I'm walking uh, to my home. That's why I'm I have to turn off the camera. But okay. as soon as I get home, I will turn turn off. Okay, could you just turn it on for the um for the attendance so that we can see that it's you? There you are. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Um eight. Uh Norma Carolina. Norma Carolina. Norma Carolina, can you just answer for the attendance, please? Norma Carolina, está usted ahí? Hmm, I guess not. Uh, Romario. Present. Wonderful, thank you. Suleyma. Suleyma. Y Susana Beatriz. Present teacher. Wonderful. And Wendy. Many very present teacher. Wonderful. Thank you, guys. Okay. Um, all right, guys. So we're going to start. Um, all right. So the ref the review I was doing with you, the reason why I was doing the review, it was because we're gonna be working. Um, on some exercises uh, with um, a partner, okay? So um, I'm going to be assigning um, partners, but before I assign your partners, the, well, I'm gonna be assigning the breakout rooms, and but before I do that, I need to um, make sure that everybody um, is here, so. Um, okay, so Delbert is here, Romario is here, Susanna is here, Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer, are you going to be able to participate? Yes, sir. Okay, perfect. 
Okay, Manuel is here. Mario Jose. Um, can you participate right now, Mario? Uh, yes, I can, but uh, I I cannot uh, uh, turn on my camera right now. But uh, okay, but you can participate. I will. Yeah, I'm just asking so that I if I assign you with a partner that you will be able to to work with them. Uh, yeah, sure, I, I, I can. Okay, perfect. All right, and um, Norma. Norma, she won't be able to, I think, I think she's, I don't even know if she's here. Wendy is okay, she's here. Susana is there, okay. All right, okay, so, um, all right, guys. So I uh, assign you now to a group, um, and I'm gonna give you about, 10 minutes to work on this exercise. Um, I don't think it will take you too, too long. We'll have to see. If it takes you more time, I will um, gladly uh, give you more time. But if not, that's okay. I have sent the link in the chat, in the WhatsApp chat, okay? So you can open it and um you can you can work on the exercise okay because it's an online exercise you will find that um a, that a, you can do the exercise and get the answers right away okay so all you're going to be doing is choosing between gerund and an infinitive so that sound good You guys understand that? Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're going to uh, open the rooms right now. If if you want, I share my 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 screen. Sure, sure, it's, it's great. Let me see. You can use the, for example, I prefer I see. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, no puedo estar en celular. Estoy en el pero, diplomado. pero lo podría, lo, entonces se lo tengo que pasar a, a su... No, para, si usted lo puede compartir, para que de ahí lo trabajemos a todos. Ah, que si se lo puedo compartir a usted. Girls, can you, can you keep it in English? Can we speak in English? Ok. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Share. Share, share, share in WhatsApp or share in what? No, 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 no. In the computer is a com in, in Zoom. Is, uh -huh, in Zoom. Zoom. Ah, okay. Okay. Um, sorry. Ay, me quité un sándwich. Okay. 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 These are uh, the first uh, sentences. But I prefer it savory full brighter that swing. Let me see for 
sería eating, vea. Eating. Girls, what happened? That's what she gets. Eh, Susana, Wendy, me escuchan. Yes, teacher, I uh, make yes, the sorry, uh, activity and cellular. I the activity from, uh, for, for Susana. Okay, good, but you should be discussing it together. So, um, like, you should not be on, on um, like, you, sh you shouldn't have your, your microphones off because you should be just talking about it together. Okay. Okay. You should be discussing okay. and trying to figure it out together. Okay. okay. I think I think I think we could use making in this one. Making, yeah, because in the list is is not it's not in the list. Stop. It's the first. Uh -huh. That's it has to be school has agreed to postpone. To postpone. It seems okay. Uh, hey, hey. I, I think it uh, is is infinity too. Ah uh, no 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 sorry sorry help I I I eight I think it's it's in it's in. I I. Yeah. But I, 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 I don't found it. Maybe it's both. Me, I me, it me either. But I remember seeing mm -hmm. it or hearing it like Gerald. I hate taking. taking if if you wanna, I put in Jeron and and we ask we ask uh, after. Uh, I'll take it later. I hate to take. I don't don't. It's not sound good. I hate to take. It's take. Or I hate taking. I. Yeah, it's germs. I'm going to put yeah. If we mistake, if, if mistake, uh, don't worry. Okay. The teacher explains. Yes, okay. Next one. Please, Please stop making. I've heard stop with germs. Yeah. I'm going to, to look for it. Um, stop, stop. It's not, not in the list. Not in, in, with Gerons. Gerons? Yeah, I've heard of it. Well, I, I stopped making. 
I love. Pretty also with carrots. Uh, lovely. It's not on the list. I don't uh, know. Uh, what is your your opinion? Is it... listening. I love listening okay. to well, the We are going to point. I love listening to the beautiful music. Oh boy, I'm going to put that. And number twelve, for teacher promise. Is is a uh, infinitive. It's in the second list. We we pronounce it promised, not promised. Promise. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Promised. For teacher promised to take. Promised to take us to the zoo. If we worked well. We okay. Must do warm up exercise before we begin walking. We begin. Let me check. It's not on the list, but it's not. Uh... It sounds uh, we must do warm up exercise before we begin. I think you think to walk or walking. Walking for me, it's walking. It sounds better. In walking. Okay. Today we will continue, continue working. Continue is not on the list, but today we will continue. Um, For me, it would be working. Yeah. And to I continue working. I I think it's work is is general too. Please remember, fetch the children. Remember. It sounds too infinitive here. Please remember to fetch. Let me see. It's not on the list too, but I I I think it's to, infinity. To fetch, to fetch. Please remember to fetch. Uh, I don't remember hearing or seeing. Remember with infinities. Okay. Before. Okay. And uh, try the other to... one. Please try. I think it's finishing. I've seen try with two plus infinitive. Try, try, try. It's not, it's not in the list. But I've seen try with two plus infinity. I tried to finish. Try, try. Well, I tried finishing. I tried to finish well, you. Please try to finish. Try finishing. It sounds from it sounds good both ways. We can Mid middle or middle. We can select both. Who? Do it? Yeah, this is do it. My dad has managed to fix it was good. I don't mind doing my mother enjoys exercising and number five it was wrong yes it said wedding and said I can stand infinity to wear glass yes I like here is correct use both like a uh, Travel and travel. Okay. He finally admitted is lying because uh, well, at least we 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 feel with to lie. The next one's 
The school has agreed it was postponed. I hate take, it was to take. Because it's taking was bad, we can don't we can not use both. Mm -hmm. Maybe just take. And number ten, it was correct. Making. Yes, making. And the number eleven, I love listening. Listening. Yes, to the yes. Beatles music. Our teacher promised it was good. It was to take. Promised. Promised. Yeah. Promised. Yeah. I remember that you said that the promised. The, yeah. Yeah. The, the, no, I don't. Uh, Most. The accent is in the first syllable. Our teacher one, promised. One up. Ask the sort of begin. Number 13. 13. We must warm up exercises before we begin. We have said walking is to walk. 14, today we will continue uh, with select working, but it was wrong. And this one we have select remember to fetch and here was to finish you deserve to be i can afford we had budget but it was to buy teacher why in number 18 we had i can afford and we and we select Buying, but it um, but it uh, it was grown. Sorry, which one? I can't afford number eighteen. Mm -hmm. According to to you to the list of pair that you gave us, is that uh, we can use a gerund? I can't afford. Oh no. Um, can't stand and can't help. No, it's... can afford it was infinity. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, we can select. Can afford, yes. Yes, it was um infinity. Yes. My hair, my dad hate hate we select to stand, but it says standing in low queues and John pretend to be sick because he didn't want to go to school and the children enjoy going to the movies and do you have the last one Manuel? Uh, okay let me see And the last part we have, uh, yes, uh, just to ground, I think. In the the number uh, eighteen, nineteen, uh, we have. Uh, no, uh, that was correct. Uh, the the uh, twenty-three. Ah, the twenty-two. Okay, twenty-two. Yeah. Uh, ing going speak. Speaking. speaking going I speaking. miss yes I miss to playing. play correct playing, playing or to play no playing is correct play yes. I wouldn't advise you to uh, is to skip skipping. to skip to skip correct yes yes I can I can bear, bear uh, is what was that it, that what, it was, yes that it was wrong yes we have hearing, but it's to hear. To hear. My dad wants to learn. And, uh, to it, fly was correct, correct. To fly, yes. To travel in the next, correct. And, the, and don't forget. The last one, uh, we have coming, but the correct is. To come. Yes, to come. Well. Come. Ah. <sighs> 
oh my god <laughs> and i think i think when maybe that red is both is both yes a ver qué tal me va wendy is a go 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 pick select selecting the sentence one select to eating Ah, no. Okay. No. No. The the ma um. The bad answer in my case is to eat. No, it's eating. Uh -huh. uh, to do no is do is doing. And mm -hmm. uh, exercise to exercise no is exerting. Uh, to wear is wearing. Uh, to travel no is traveling. Traveling, leal, taking, making, listening, uh, walking, walking, working, standing. Going, speaking, playing, eating. Okay. Eh, eh, to pick, uh, to pick, to pick, to postpone, oh, to postpone the first day to leave. To leave is to post. Postpone. To take. Listen to take. To take. To take was to fetch. To fetch to work. Work to pay. To, to fetch. To fetch. To finish, to be stand. Stand. To be. Stand to be. Stand to be. The is going. Going is speak to play. He said we got it. Yes. And you guys are finished? Yes. yes. Perfect. Okay, great. I will see you in the meantime in a moment. Okay. Which one is your Manuel writing the I I number I low listening. It's cool. Are you guys ready? Yes, but ready we have a, uh, but some, some, <laughs> uh, some wrong, but we have a doubt with some uh, sentences wrong. Okay. Like, uh, um, stand. I can, I I can stand. stand wearing in the, in the list is Jaron, but we have to Maybe maybe you you can use both ways. Um. Yes. You can use both ways in this case. Um, instead of running, we we have. Um. In this case, number nine. Uh, well, it's, it's both, we can use both both ways. Uh, we have wrong uh, with this reason, but uh, uh, in in the number number five, I don't know why we have to have wrong sentence. 
Yeah. Um, apparently. But, but we. But we pass. <laughs> we, okay. For Calific, uh, we had to have, say, six. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're going to check together, so don't worry. Okay? Okay. Okay. All right. Perfect. Okay, so I think I have the majority back. Um, Delbert, we can't see you. Um, and there you are. Okay. Um, Mari Jose, you're, are you still not at home? I'm just coming, uh, teacher. Just coming. Oh, okay. Okay, great. <clears throat> Great, great. Okay, so um, we're going to be checking right now. Um, okay, so please tell me you can see my PowerPoint. Um, oh, there it is. Okay. All right, can you see my PowerPoint? Yes, I see it. Wonderful. Yeah, okay. Yeah, sure. All right. So, it. great. Perfect. So, we have courses English for work program, Advanced Module 2, facilitator Jessica Guerrero. It's March 28, 2023. And we're going to be looking here at these exercises. Okay. So, um, I prefer, what are you going to say? What's the answer? I prefer what? Eating. Eating, very good. I prefer eating. Um, oh, Safer like... foods um, than sweets. Or? I prefer to eat. Yeah, exactly. I prefer eating eating or I prefer to eat. So both of them are possible. There are some verbs that we can use both. Um, not very many. And don't ask me if there's a rule because there isn't. Um, it's just you gotta you just gotta memorize the list, okay? There are some there are certain verbs that you can use both, but the majority of the verbs have one in particular that they like okay okay so my dad has managed to fix, to fix. With infinity. very good to fix our computer okay good i don't mind doing 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 yeah i don't mind doing the washing up that's the only possibility there okay and uh, my mother enjoys exercising exercising again only one possibility enjoys exercising okay at the gym okay i can't stand Wedding or to wear? 
wearing or to wear. Yeah. Um, I think um, this one's actually debatable, to be honest. Um, some people will say that this one is both. Um, but the mo the one that is most accepted is just the the gerund. Yeah. So, yes. So yes, it can be both. But uh, the I would I would be um safe and go with the gerund. Okay. Yes, teacher. I hear her uh, with wearing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so this one is um the most common. Yeah, the most, most common. Yeah. So yes, there are people that say that you can use infinitive, but it's not very common. It's more accepted the gerund. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you I would I would I would go with the safer option, which is gerund. Okay. Um next I like Traveling. Traveling. Or to travel. Or to travel, yeah. Actually, also possible. You guys know that? Do you guys know that? Or no? I uh, know. Traveling with double No, L. only travel. You guys know that? Both. Mm hmm Why do you use traveling with double L? Yeah, exactly. Anybody know? Uh, I don't know. No? Okay. I don't know why. All right. So both of them are acceptable. Okay. And um, one is British English. The other one is American English. The British English is the one with the double L. Okay. 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 So traveling with one L is American traveling with two L's is British. Okay, so they're, and they're both acceptable, so it's okay. You can use both. Okay? Okay. Okay, all right. Um, number seven, he finally admitted. ING, lying. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, why? Yeah. Okay, this one is the only possibility. Okay, no others. Okay, any other questions? No? Okay. Let's go number two to number eight. The school agreed. To postpone. To postpone. Okay. So far so good? Yes. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, let's continue. I hate both taking so, or to take. Yeah, good. Taking or to take. I hate taking or I hate to take my dog for a walk when it's raining. Okay, number, number 10. Please stop. Making. Making. Uh, 
a noise, the baby sleeping. Actually, technically speaking, stop can take both. Okay, you it's possible to say stop making or stop to make, but the meaning changes. Okay? Yes. So if you can say, please stop to make a noise. But that means that's a totally different meaning. What that literally means in Spanish is like, por favor, eh, pare para hacer un, un ruido. Where, Deje de ser. where this one is, no, no, no. Okay. When you say, when you say, um, say stop to make yeah. a noise, it means, por favor, pare para hacer un yeah. ruido. Yeah. Whereas this one is, por favor, pare de hacer un ruido. So, um, you both of them are possible, but the meaning changes. So, that means that in this context, just in this one, eh, we're not going to accept to make. We would have to say make. Okay? Yeah. Got it. Does Okay. So far, so good? Yes. Okay, good. I love... I love... Listen. 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 Or to listen. Or to listen. Or to listen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this one is one that can take both, and it doesn't change the meaning. Okay, the meaning is the same. Our teacher promised to take, to take, yeah. All right, guys, remember, please, it's promised, not promised, 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 okay? If you say it promised, it sounds like pro-mice, like you're in favor of mice, of, of many Mouses. Okay, so so does it sounds a little you funny. like mouses? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm pro, right? I, it means <laughs> I I like them. So that that sounds funny. Okay, so so you you got you gotta be careful and make sure that the stress is on the first syllable. Promised. Okay, promised. Okay, next. We must do warm up exercises before we begin. Walking. Walking, very good. Or to walk. Uh, yeah. Exactly. To walk. Okay. So this one is um another one that doesn't change the meaning if you put both to begin walking or begin to walk. Same thing. Okay. 14. Walk. Sorry, Manuel, you had a question? Do you have a question, Manuel? Oh. No. Oh, okay. All right. Sorry, I thought you had a question. Okay. Uh, let's continue. Um, today we will continue. Working or to work. Right. Working or to work. Again, this one doesn't uh, change up the mean. Okay. okay. So far, so good? Yes. Questions, guys, before we go on to the next 14? Okay, that's clear. All right, let's go on to the, the next 14 uh, exercises here. Okay, so. Um, okay, so today we continue, oh no, sorry, 15, next one, sorry. Uh, please remember the 14 has already been done, so we're going to skip 14. 15? To fetch. Please remember to, to fetch. To fetch. 
to fetch uh, the children from school. Okay, so this is another one that it is possible to say fetching, but it changes the meaning. Okay, so please remember fetching the children from school. That is a totally different meaning. What that means is like, try, please try to remember that you did fetch the children from school. Okay, so that means you did something in the past and you remember that you did it. Okay, it's like saying in Spanish, por favor recuerde que usted fue a recoger a los niños al colegio. Yeah, so yes, it is possible to use um, the gerund, but the meaning changes. That's why we're only going to be using in this sentence to fetch. Does that make sense, everybody? Please. Um, yes. could, you could you repeat the, if we can use, if we use fetching, what would be the meaning? Okay, so. Um, um, if you use remember plus a gerund, what that means is something happened in the past and you remember that it happened. Okay, so you it did happen and you remember that it happened. Whereas remember plus infinitive means that you want to remember to do it that you are supposed to do it and you um and you remember and you and you will remember to do it so in this one says please remember to fetch the children from school means por favor acuérdese de ir por los niños a la escuela if you say please remember fetching the children to, from school it means Por favor, recuerde que usted fue por los niños a la escuela. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Any other, do you, does that make sense or a bit or do you have any questions? No, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, okay, next. Uh, please try to finish to finish your work on time. Okay. Now, um, is it possible to say, please try? Finishing your work on time? Is it possible to say this? The answer is yes. It is possible to say try plus a gerund. However, the meaning is a little bit different with the infinitive and the gerund. What's the difference? So try plus an infinitive means that you will, um, excuse me, just give me a moment. Yeah, so try plus a gerund, what it means is that 
you um you do something uh, to as an experiment. Sorry, sorry, yeah, Blizzard Sharon. It means that you do something as an experiment to see what happens if it if it works or if it doesn't work. We'll see. Okay. But try plus an infinitive means that something is difficult to do, but you're still making an effort to do it. Okay. So um so in this case, please try to finish your work on time. You're not saying do it as an experiment. No, what you're saying is do it, even though it may be difficult for you, but make an effort to finish on time. So, like I said, it has a, a, a small difference, not a, a big difference in meaning, but it's, uh, it does have a difference. Okay, so in this case, it makes more sense to use the, the, the infinitive and not the gerund. Okay, does that make sense, everybody? Yes. Please stop me if it doesn't make sense. It's okay, I can explain, I can find other ways. Just tell me and I'll help. I'll try to help you. Okay, let's move on then. Um, 17. You deserve so, to be punished. To be. To be punished. You deserve to be punished for driving under the influence. Okay. Okay. I can't afford. Goodbye. Goodbye. A new car. To buy. Yes. I can't afford to buy a new car. Okay. My dad hates. Standing. Standing. Or to stand. Right. Or to stand. This is one that can use both without a change in meaning. Okay. Well, sorry, 20. Um, John pretended. To be sick. To be sick. Right. Only possibility to be. Because he didn't want to go to school. <laughs> mm -hmm. He didn't want to go to school. But that's just John. Nobody in, in this class would dare do that. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> right? English class. Yes, no, no, nobody, nobody would <laughs> dare to. I don't to pretend. pretend. <laughs> no, 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 absolutely not. Okay, next. The children enjoy going. Going to the movies. Okay. Um, um okay, next one. Uh my mother avoids. And I, I would like to hear everybody participate. And so if you guys can please share your answers. It doesn't matter if you are wrong. It's it's okay. You can be wrong. It's not the end of the world if you're wrong. I just want to hear that you you try it. So my mother avoids. Teacher, I'm sorry. Uh, before we finish mm -hmm. the I I I have a question. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. Using this all these verbs, all yes, all these verbs mm -hmm. uh, in this in this uh, sentence, uh, the question is each verb uh, is for the rule. 
that we we put a noun like infinity or ing in general, or it for because each bear uh, have a a, a a a sense or a feeling or a action. I don't know. Oh, it's for the rule. It's because of the rule. For the rule. Yeah. Okay. That's, yeah. It, 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 like, well, it's, it's not really a rule. It's a list. So okay, there, very, there's, very there's a list of verbs that always use gerunds. There's a list of verbs that always use infinitives. There's a list of verbs that can use both without any oh. problem, any change in meaning. And there's a list of verbs that can use both, oh. but they oh. change the meaning. Okay, very good. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. All right. 22, my mother avoids. So everybody want to hear your answers. You guys already did this exercise, so it's not like, like it's something completely new. Speaking. It's speaking. Speaking. Thank you very much speaking in public. Okay, so avoid always use a gerund. Okay. Um, okay, next. Um, I miss playing. Thank you, playing cricket with my friends. So miss, we Always use a gerund with miss. I wouldn't advise you. To skip. To skip. Yeah. Okay. So notice after advise, you use a pronoun, which is you. Okay. So the advise is one of those verbs that we can, if you want. Um, you can use, if you want, and if it makes sense, you can use a pronoun, okay? 25, I can't bear. I can't bear. Uh -huh. Yes. By the way, what is I can't bear? Let's let's talk about that because maybe that may be confusing. What is the meaning of can't bear? Uh, soportar. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah. So, no puedo, no puedo soportar. Yeah, so it means like to tolerate or or accept or endure as well. Okay, that could also be. So, um, so what what, what can we say? So I can't bear. Mm -hmm. Hearing. Hearing. Or? To hear. To hear, yeah. Both of them are possible. Okay. And then. this doesn't change the meaning. No, this one doesn't change the meaning. It's the same. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, next. My dad wants to learn... My dad wants to learn. Everybody. My dad wants to learn. To fly. To fly. Okay. 
So guys, please, I want I want to hear everybody participating, okay? Because everybody did it, right? So it's not like, I just want to know that you guys are there, that you're actually participating. Remember that it's not just about being in class, it's about actually participating. Okay, so my dad wants to fly, a hel to learn to fly, sorry, wants to learn to fly a helicopter. Only possibility. My friend hopes... I should hear many voices because to, to travel to travel to travel yes very good to travel only possibility to travel with us when we fly to London and finally don't forget come. to come to come to come to school early tomorrow okay so Again, just like remember, it's a possibility to say coming. Using a gerund after forget is a possibility. However, it changes the meaning. It changes the meaning. So if I say don't forget to come to school early tomorrow, it's like in Spanish, I say no te olvides de venir a la escuela mañana Oh, as, uh, de venir temprano a la escuela mañana. So it means you are supposed to do something. And I'm telling you, don't forget that you're supposed to do it. But if I use a gerund, what it means is I did do something in the past. And I am telling you not to forget it. Don't forget that you did it in the past. So it's like saying... If I say, don't forget coming to school early tomorrow, well, actually, maybe this wouldn't make very much, it doesn't make very much sense because you're saying tomorrow, whereas when you use a gerund, it's something that happened in the past because it's like saying, no te olvides que viniste a la escuela temprano. So viniste is in the past. So that why that's the reason why this one definitely would not make any sense because yes, we're talking about like, tomorrow. Like like example, teacher, when you said thank you for coming. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming for venir. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the thing is with the verb forget. Mm -hmm. forget if you this. forget plus infinitive, sorry, plus a gerund means something happened in the past yes. and you yes. don't forget it. So for example, don't forget, or, or, or for example, I will never forget um, attending my first English class. I will never forget attending yes. my first English class. So it means in the past, Yes, I attended a, an English class, yes. my first English class. Yes, and I I will never forget that experience. Yes. Okay, that yes. so that's what it means. Forget plus an infinity means sorry plus a gerund means the activity happened in the past. Yes. Okay. So that's why this does not make sense because we're talking about tomorrow. And it's something that happened that that if you use a gerund, it happened in the past, so it doesn't make sense. Okay? So far, so good, guys? Yes. So far, so good. Okay. All right. So can we move on to the next part of our class? Yes? Okay. All right. Okay, guys. So the next part of our class, um, I will be explaining some important um, expressions that we use with gerunds. So gerunds, we usually, because remember I told you gerunds are nouns or activities. So it's very, it's very common to use um, gerunds with the verb go. Okay, why? Because when we're 
we use go when we are talking about doing an activity, usually outside. Okay, when you do an activity outside of the house or in, in the out, outdoors, we use go. Okay, so we can use go plus the verb plus ing to talk about recreational verbs. Okay, leisure activities. Okay, these are leisure activities or activities that you do in your free time. So these are, um, we go and do different activities that um, we do in them outside. Okay, not in, we don't, um, you don't usually use go with activities that you do indoors. We use go with activities that we use inside. With the, sorry, that we do that we do outside. So, example, we go fishing with our mates from the office. Okay, so notice go fishing. That's an activity that we do outside. We can't do go fishing inside. We do it outside. Or there is a new recreational program so that employees can go biking. Can go biking. So again, biking or to, um, to ride a bike is an activity that we do outside as a leisure activity. Or he goes running every, every day after work. Okay, and he goes running every day after work. So again, go, and we are using the gerund running because this is an activity that we usually do outside. Okay, we don't go, we don't usually go running inside. We go running outside. Okay. Does that make sense for everybody? Yes, teacher, but I have a question. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Like, uh, the topic is special expressions. Uh, uh, for example, go plus recreational verbs. But what about uh, the people when they work, it's, for example, to fish? Right? May I say uh, he go to to fish? He goes to fish. No. Yes. No. He goes He's fishing. fishing. Always he go he goes fishing. Yeah, he goes fishing. He goes fishing. Yeah. No matter is uh, is a uh, for 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 these uh, people is the. In not recreational, right? You know, yes, it is outside of her uh, home, but in not recreational. That uh, recreational, yeah. People yes. go fishing for fun. Yes, in my case, yes, because I like to. <laughs> all right, I like uh, go fishing, but sometimes not every day, but. My friends, yes, uh, they they go fishing every day mm -hmm. to survive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, so just basically think about it. Like, um, if there is a recreational activity, yeah, because um, we're gonna go, eat. Mm -hmm. go is a is an aver that is followed to to a uh, verb uh, in Yeron, like noun. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it means go plus an activity. What is yes. you go and you do activity. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Very good. You're welcome. And then there are other expressions that we use. Okay. Um, these expressions are expressions like have fun or have a good time or have trouble or have difficulty. 
or waste time or spend time or waste money or spend money. So with these verbs, we use um, also the gerunds. Okay, those are expressions. Okay, so we can say, have fun working, have a good time eh, playing, have trouble sleeping, have difficulty um, eating, waste, um, waste uh, time playing. Um, spend money, uh, spend money, um, we spend money, um, spend money, oh, we could say spend money playing. Shopping. Sure, uh -huh, shopping, uh-huh, okay, yeah, or for example. Yeah, something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, exactly, spend money shopping, or spend money um a eh, plane at a casino although i would say waste money for that one <laughs> okay so example of this would be the employees had fun okay learning at the training Okay, or the new hire is having uh, trouble understanding the safety procedure manual. So having trouble, okay. The companies um, spend years uh, building a reputation. Okay, so spend here. Okay. Now, I want you to notice that the verb, I want you to notice that the verbs go, um, so um, go, have, waste, um, spend, all of these verbs that we've used in these sentences, or it can be in any form, okay? They can be in any form or it, like it could be in any tense or any, um, or, or depending on the subject, right? So it can be in the third person singular or whatever it is, right? So you can change it. Based okay. on the subject and desire tense. Yeah, so for example, here we had um, go fishing. We go, go, so simple present, right? Okay, and with a, uh, here we use can go, so we're using the model. Here we're using simple present goes, but with the third person singular. So it can change go, can go, goes. Okay, but in the case, of the the gerund that doesn't change so it's always going to be fishing biking running it's always going to be the verb plus ing right so always change it the, the same it's always going to have the same um same structure the same thing here had fun having trouble spend years so notice it's in different forms had is simple past having trouble so that's the present that's the progressive form spend years um simple present so it can be in any form but the the gerund is always going to be the same learning understanding building does that make sense guys Please tell me if it makes sense or you're a little bit worried, like 
little bit confused about that. So far, so cool, teacher. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. All right. So um, we're going to do the next activity together. We're not going to get very far, but I want to make sure that you guys understand this. Okay. So we're going to complete the sentence with the correct form of the verb in the box. So we're going to choose one of these verbs. You're going to put it in the correct form. So we're going to just do the first one together, the only one. Okay. Just to see if you guys understand the idea. Okay. So Mark and Dan go during summer vacations. Now, which which one of these would make sense? Work, understand, surf, surfing. advertise? Oh. Surfing. Mark and Dan go surfing, surfing during summer vacations. Hold on, just give me a second. Yeah, okay. Good, surfing. Okay, simple as that. Actually, I think we could do the rest of them together. I don't think it should take us very long. So we so we have surfing here. Okay, good. Next, some of my coworkers have difficulty under pressure. Work, understand, advertise, sightsee, or play. Working. Work. Working. Does everybody agree that it's working? Have difficulty working? Yes or no? Guys, just a yes or a no. That should be enough. I just want to know what you guys think. Do you agree? Do you not agree? Yes, agree. Yeah, okay. I'm agree. Okay, working. Excellent. So we can pass that one out. Next, we have, we had a good time. Understand, advertise, see, sightsee, play. Sightsee. 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 What do you guys think? We have a good time what? Playing. Playing. So sightsee or play? Which one of the two? Sightsee. Which one? We have two people for sightsee. We have one person for play. What about the rest of you? Uh, what is the number? Three. So we had a good time. It's playing. It's sightseeing. For me, sightseeing. Yeah, good. Sight. Sightseeing. Seeing. Seeing. Remember, it's Jaren. Yeah, exactly. Sightseeing. Excellent. All right, so let's eliminate this one. The new employees had trouble. The safety regulations. Understand. Understand. Under? Understanding. 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 Good. Remember, it's a gerund. Okay. So, it's pretty good. Next, the companies waste money. Advertising. 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 Good. Advertising. Advertising the wrong products. Okay. And this one's the most difficult one, but I know you guys yes. can do it. And I, I, have, yeah, I, I have yeah, I have faith. I have faith in you. <laughs> yes. Okay. The boss, yeah, the boss goes playing golf after meetings. Do you guys agree with that? Do you agree? Yes. Yeah, very good. Playing golf after the meetings. Okay. 
Any questions about this exercise? Questions, guys? Anything you want to ask before we, we finish up? For me, no. Teacher. Sure. Uh, I, had a, I had a problem mm -hmm. in the platform mm -hmm. in the previous uh, homework. Mm -hmm. Because this is a, it's a, a homework. Mm -hmm. This, uh, this, uh, that we already finished, right? Is a two point eight homework, but in the previous is two point two point five homework. Uh, we had a, a issue one only exercise. Is a, like um, a. Uh, separate uh, separate by, by commas. Uh, for example, the instruction said, read the sentence below, decide if some of the phrases are appositives, right? This is a topic, appositives. It's like, it's like right, uh, the um, uh, parenthetical. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. We haven't touched that topic yet, so if you want, wait until we see that topic. And if you still are having problems with it, we'll, we'll go over it. Okay? Sounds good? Okay, be just because we haven't seen it. So I would literally have to explain everything, which doesn't really make sense. Better to wait for for us to do that, that, that exercise or that topic, and then we'll, we'll, we'll check it out. Sounds good? Okay. 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 All right. So we're going to check our attendance, guys. So um, please uh, be ready. Um, Christian. Uh, Delbert. Your teacher. Diana. Here. Okay. Uh, Diana, can you turn on your camera? Okay, and she left. Okay. Um, okay, let's continue then. Uh, Jennifer? Uh, here, did you? Okay, very good. Uh, next, we have uh, Jorge Humberto. Jorge Humberto, no, okay. Eh, Manuel Antonio. Manuel Antonio. Present. Good, excellent. Uh, María Elena. María Elena, no. Um, eh, Mario Ernesto. Mario Ernesto. No. Uh, Mario José. Present, teacher. Great. Norma, Norma, eh, Romario, present, okay. um, Suleima, Suleima, no. eh, Susana, present teacher, okay, great, and Wendy, present teacher. Okay, very good. Okay, um, if there's anybody that um, needs um, extra help there, uh, I'm available because the person that I uh, was supposed to have that comes today um, is not here. So if you guys want to stay, um, you're more than welcome. If not, then I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, so take care and uh, have a great evening. Yeah, have a nice Bye. evening. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.